to John Getter. Since you are too much of a coward to be here in court today and this week, I hope you are watching or listening to me right now. You and Larry carry a lot of the same uh, characteristics. That's funny. You are a disgrace. You coached us, your athletes, who paid you thousands and thousands of dollars by fear to control us and to purposely scare us. Well, John, you are now the one who has failed, not us. There has been no one to stand up to you until now. You, you not being in court this week has showed us that we, as your athletes who went through your prison that you call an award-winning gym, were nothing to you but a dollar sign. You not being present this week finally shows that you are the one who is scared, not me, because I finally am no longer afraid. My teammates and I spent way too many days as innocent children, shaking, crying, trembling, some even trying to take their own lives because of you. And the sad part is, you don't even know that because you could care less about us as people as opposed to athletes who were your money makers. Well, similar to what others have told Larry, I will say to you, those little girls that you treated like objects and things are all grown up now and are here to bring you health. You talking about an award-winning gym? Well, on behalf of every athlete you've ever coached and abused, you are welcome for your award-winning gym that without us girls who put up with your crap for so many years, you wouldn't even have. I hope your throat burns when you swallow those words, award-winning gym, for you are not worthy of that. You are known to me. You did nothing good for me. You belittled, belittled, berated, abused, and took advantage of me. You brainwashed me, and so did Larry. I couldn't speak up for myself, for I was seen as disrespectful. I didn't have a voice, but now I do, so I hope you are ready. What a great best friend John was to Larry for giving him an entire world where he was able to abuse so easily. You two sure do have a funny meaning of friendship. You, John Getter, also deserve to sit behind bars right next to Larry.